is already mid 2020s and CCNA is still do you agree still the most popular certification the most number of certification if you uh, if you search the job market and uh, the thing about career is I don't know if many people believe this but networking career always tied to the cloud as a matter of fact Cisco has this concentration exam it's part of CCNP enterprise it's called ENCC or Cisco Enterprise Cloud Connect. Would it be a good idea to combine your Cisco skills, AWS, and instead of CCNP Enterprise, Encore, and RC, just, just instead of NRC, we'll just do ENCC Cloud Connect and focus your career or your knowledge to hybrid cloud, Cisco plus AWS. What do you think? Have you had a look at, have they released any actual uh, training material yeah. for that yet? Yeah, I have a training material. Okay. I have an access so you've to you had ENCC. a look at the yeah. contents of it? Yeah, so how we, How can that be a whole exam? Because there's not that much to it. Right? Oh, because no, it's I just said AWS, yeah. but the course covered oh, the three sure clouds, yeah, the three yeah. cloud service provider. Yeah. So they talk about Cisco VPN and how can they connect with the, the three cloud service provider. Yeah. Which is um, Google Cloud, Azure, and AWS. Yeah. And they also talk about SD WAN, and then right. um, integrated to again those three cloud yeah. service providers. Okay. There's not that much to it, right? There's not that many different options. I'm I'm surprised that. But but they also introduce cloud. So do you think many CCNAs? Oh, they so they talk a bit yeah, about yeah. They, they talk about cloud, cloud at, on the cloud end as well. Yeah, a bit. Okay, a bit. I, I need to have a look. I haven't had a look at the content yet. I need I need to have a look. But do you think that would be an easier exam than the NRC? All right, so it depends on the interest and the knowledge of network engineers, because to be honest, many network engineers doesn't understand the application level. But also many network engineers doesn't understand the server level. So they cannot just talk about instances, AWS EC2 instances. They cannot just talk about uh, databases. VPC, for sure, they would understand it easily. Yeah. But other cloud technologies, they may find it difficult or challenging understanding it. Yeah. So like you, like myself, we have VMware experiences, uh, server, uh, I'm knowledgeable in Linux. Actually, before I moved to network engineering, I already know Linux and applications. But for an average network engineer, do you think it will be easier for them to understand cloud? And again, do you think this course ENCC in combination with Encore is a good idea for the current career because again the career before is different before it's just ccna ccnp and then many different ccnp tracks and later maybe you want to decide to go for ccie but now everything changed because of the cloud what do you think yeah probably having server and vmware experience is going to help you understand clouds more than cisco certifications will the when you're working in cloud if you're actually going to be working on there you're probably going to be installing the servers you're going to be firing up instances with having the operating system going on there putting other applications on top as well and just understanding how virtualized it because it's a virtualized environment yeah so the, ins having the instances kind of, are the terminology yeah. of virt it's a virtual VMs. machine yeah. yeah in the cloud yeah so having that knowledge would be useful for it. So I get, again, because I haven't looked at the exact contents of this course, I don't know how much they teach you about what's on the, the cloud provider end. If they do go into stuff like instances and give you some information on that, then yeah, sure. Uh, it, in the it lab, would be useful. you actually get a hands-on of right. a cloud service provider, AWS, right. Google Cloud, etc. So like, you, so you, you fire up an instance yeah. in the lab okay yeah. yeah but for sure that's useful yeah all right now i don't know i don't know if you know this but there are many cloud engineers 
are not really skilled or doesn't have that much knowledge into networking. I believe this will be a good advantage for network engineers to also understand the cloud, th that part of cloud that not too many cloud engineer really understands and yeah. care about. Yeah. I know many cloud engineers, they don't care about the VPCs, the networks, and the, the network security side as well. Yeah. Yeah, th this is another thing about having broad certification or broad knowledge. I'm really, I'm talking about broad knowledge, but again, like I said before, if you're going to learn it, do the certification so you can prove it to employers. The different teams work together. If you're at a large company, there's going to be a server team, there's going to be a network team, there's going to be a security team, there might be a storage team, there might be a separate virtualization team, there's going to be different teams mm -hmm. and they have to work with each other. Correct. So whenever, say that a new server is getting set up, but it's the server team that install the operating system and the apps on there, but then they need to talk to the networking team to get that server on the network and also for it to be secured properly as well. Of course, networking and security are, are tightly tied with mm -hmm. each other. So often those teams are, are kind of one and the same as well. Also, if there's a storage team- Tied with servers. They're going to get everything. Mm -hmm. they, whenever a new server comes online, the different teams need to work together to actually get that thing working across all the different departments. And I've seen meetings before where the different teams, like, they just don't understand each other. And if, if you're the guy that knows about servers and networking and storage and virtualization, you can talk to all of the different teams and... Even if the person on that team doesn't understand everything, you can talk in their language so that there's no misunderstandings and things get set up correctly. So yeah, it, it's really useful for that. And again, also with cloud as well. So if you're on the networking team and you're using AWS, well, it's probably going to be the server team that are setting up the instance in AWS. It certainly is going to be that. And then they're going to have to talk to you about how the different offices are going to have connectivity. All yeah, that the kind hybrid of stuff. cloud, yeah. the cloud connectivity, because that's yeah. the focus of the ENCC course. Yeah. 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 So it's definitely useful. If you go and do that, then you're going to be the guy that can talk to the AWS many favorite, guys. Many different and teams. You're gonna, yeah. And you're going to understand both sides. So there's not going to be misunderstandings and you can get the job done properly.